Hey Weather Warriors, in this video I'm going to give you an update on the significant dust cloud that is moving off of the Saharan Desert all the way into the United States. We're going to talk about an update and this is going to go through early July. I'm also going to talk about the tropics potentially ramping up and also something crazy that happened earlier today in the Pacific Ocean. But before we begin, I invite you to subscribe below if you like detailed educational weather forecast updates just like this. We go way behind the scenes. And we'll come back right back to this model here, this animation that I made. But first, I'm going to show you kind of what's going on here. And you can see the dust. It is 5,000 to 20,000 feet in the air. You can see the satellite. This is the GO-16 satellite. This brown area is the plume of dust. So there is visual proof of this thing now. This came off of Africa to the east. And actually, this dust ex extends all the way to the east. This plume right here is a little more significant, but there is more dust to the east that is going to stream in as well. This is just reaching the United States, and this will continue moving to the northeast. Now, I'm going to show you something I made, and this is a custom model. This is the NGAC model, and I, I made some custom graphics. I programmed some things in here. And essentially what you're looking at is the dust thickness. We're going to play this on loop. This is the 24th of June. I'm making this video a little bit later, but it essentially goes out through July. So this is the latest run I got right now. And these little arrows indicate the wind. This is the United States over here. The greens, the yellows, and the whites, that's thicker dust thickness. So it's how thick the dust is in the atmosphere. The lighter blues are just lighter, nuisance, nothing terribly uh, crazy, but we're going to play this forward. So this is right now, and I watch as we head towards uh, Wednesday, uh, Thursday and beyond, and you can see Wednesday already there is right now, obviously, a lot of dust sweeping into Texas towards the Gulf. It's got that plume kind of in that area, but watch as we head towards uh, later in the week here. So we head towards uh, Thursday, this and uh, you know this starts to flatten out a little bit goes across the Gulf light to moderate I'd say it's a moderate plume all the way up to Oklahoma maybe even Missouri as well and this could extend all the way into Northeast maybe in Rhode Island maybe Maine as well as we head towards uh, this would be the around uh, the 26th or so, so this is a Friday here you can see that dust surges north and it's really starting to impact the southern plains again so we could get a second wave pretty significant down in florida and even texas moderate to significant dust this is not a haboob so this is not going to be something that's going to be racing on the ground and blowing dust into your house this is elevated it's about 5,000 to you know 20k feet off the ground for the most part mid-level dust but it will create vibrant sunsets so you're going to have these vibrant red orange sunsets the sun's going to kind of look like a bowling ball as it's setting in the atmosphere it won't have many rays it'll look kind of dimmed so it's kind of a cool ordeal there as we head towards uh, saturday you can see this dust really gets going so i think this weekend is when you're going to get your main surge the model's been consistent with that particularly from texas oklahoma out into arkansas louisiana mississippi alabama georgia that extends all the way north to the midwest close to the great lakes so it's going to be uh, very close as we head towards uh sunday really significant dust potentially in texas here again i think sometime this weekend we could see the dust slip maybe as far north as the central plains midwest and maybe even the northeastern united states it's not going to be significant but we could see some light dust and if you look to the south you'll probably see it more especially when the sun is oriented towards the south southwest you know later in the day but like I said, this is kind of the look right now. If you're like in the Midwest and, you know, it's the morning time, you're going to want to look kind of to the southeast, to the east, where that sun's rising, where that dust occurs. Now, as we head towards uh, Monday here, you can see that this continues a decent blob in the northeastern United States. But even through Monday and Tuesday, you can see that still moderate to significant dust in the southeastern United States, Carolinas, Florida, Alabama and Georgia and then as we head towards the 29th it it, it begins to kind of uh, s kind of settle in to the southeastern United States there's gonna be a front that moves through I think that's gonna blow some of this stuff out and it, it'll keep it at bay but farther into the southeastern United States 
So that's the dust model. We're going to play this one more time. And uh, I'm going to animate this for you guys. And you can kind of see that that is with the wind. So you can see those arrows. That's where the wind's essentially moving towards. And you can see that high pressure right there blowing the dust into the United States. And again, these are the dates up here. Now it goes out to the seventh. I'll tell you why in a second because we're looking at tropical development here on the second half of the video. But that's kind of how, kind of what's going on here. So pretty cool how that high pressure can just blow the dust cross continent into the United States. Now the second half of this video, I wanted to show you potentially something to watch in the tropics. This is going to change significantly, so I'm not too concerned at the moment, but. The tropics are very warm this year, and something we're going to have to watch this year is uh, the the wind out or the uh, tropical systems out here. This is uh, the second of July. Again, this is uh, going to change quite a bit, but the GFS is actually showing a a little uh, tropical system here as we head towards July fourth and beyond. So we're going to have to watch that again. This area. There is some potential for development somewhere south of Cuba uh, around early July. And the GFS does take this in to the United States, some type of a tropical system. It is way too early to say whether or not this is going to be a tropical storm or a hurricane or nothing at all. I just wanted to show you guys, alert you. I might, may or may not make videos on this in the future. But this is the area we, we'd want to watch is probably just south of Cuba, north of Mexico. The ensembles have indicated some potential development in that area. Again, it's very warm out here this year. And that dust, once that dust begins to shut off, the tropical activity will start to ramp up with the type of environment we have this year. But uh, with that dust and the models kind of underdoing the dust, I would not be surprised to see that disappear. Now, again, I'll make, be making more videos on this in the future. Either way, we will uh, follow the tropics. And I just kind of want to show you guys this map. This is another custom map I made. This is the GFS computer model. But let me know what you think of this color scheme for the winds. I think I'm going to be changing this up a little bit. Uh, but we're just kind of un un revealing new data that I've made. And uh, I'm going to be adjusting the design and all that as we go forward. So your feedback is appreciated because by the time the fall comes and weather gets crazier, hopefully we'll have something really awesome for you guys down. So that's that. And then one other thing I wanted to show you guys, something pretty crazy happening in the Pacific Ocean today. Look at those clouds. Really cool look, looking clouds here. You get this little uh, spiraling activity out here in the Pacific Ocean, kind of a honeycomb type of look. I'm going to have to look at, into this a little bit more, but if you look at the GO satellite, you can kind of see this activity going on in the Pacific Ocean. This was uh, pretty pretty interesting. So I wanted to show you guys that. You can see that little vortex right there, that the alto cumulus getting sucked into that little vortex there in the Pacific Ocean. So yeah, so pretty crazy, pretty interesting uh, weather going on right now across the United States. Again, that dust that we were talking about. Again, it's not the end of the world. It is very significant, but the worst that it will do is will cause some allergies. So again, if you're in those heavy areas, you probably want to make sure you're cognizant of the dust in the air, especially if you have allergies. We'll play this one more time and uh, animate this. Again, southeastern United States, particularly Texas, through eastward to about Florida and south of that Tennessee line is kind of where the worst is going to be. Again, not at the end of the world. The news is kind of blowing this up a little bit. You know, these things happen, but again, this is a lot worse than the normal uh, storms are. But again, you play it safe, use common sense, and everything will be fine. And again, I'll alert you guys if we see more uh, likely chances of tropical activity again this is going to change quite a bit i think the models are underdoing the dust so i think you know that there is a decent chance that that will disappear or get delayed at least a couple of days so that's it for you guys for you guys uh make sure to subscribe below like comment share and we'll uh talk to you soon